Hello guys, Croft is here. In this video, I want to talk about one interesting detail in Prometheus regarding the engineer. I think all of us remember the scene in which the awakened engineer punches and throws people across the room with no effort. That made me wonder how strong was the engineer in Prometheus compared to humans. More specifically, how strong was the engineer's punching power compared to strongest human punchers like Mike Tyson and Olympic boxers? Not a single human could make another human fly a dozen meters across a room just by a single punch, so the engineer must be incredibly strong. But in this video, we'll find out his exact strength level. I also wanted to thank you guys for watching my videos. I know I don't post very often, so make sure to hit the notification bell to not miss videos when I release them. I'll be also posting a few Predator videos about the upcoming movie, so stay tuned. To determine engineer's strength, we'll need some physics formulas, but don't worry, they're pretty easy to follow. There are a few ways to calculate power of a punch, but since we can only rely on our observations in the movie, we'll stick to the relatively precise method that only requires a few measurements. Fortunately, we can use one of the Isaac Newton's laws that says that force, or a punching power in our case, equals mass times acceleration. So, to estimate how strong was the engineer, we need the mass and the acceleration of people that he punched. According to laws of physics, the force exerted by the engineer's hand is equal to the force required to throw the crew members across the room in the way we saw it. So, instead of estimating the mass and speed of the engineer's hand, which we don't know anything about, we will estimate the same parameters regarding the crew members, which is much easier. If we find the force that was needed to send Ford and Wayland's guard flying across the room, we will find the force of the engineer's punch. We can ignore planet's gravity because all crew members move pretty much like on Earth. Let's first find the force it took to throw Jackson across the room. The way the engineer moved his hand to kinda throw Jack is very similar to an uppercut, so we'll use this to estimate engineer's punching power. For our formula, we need the mass and the acceleration of his body after the punch. Judging by his height and the fact that he's in military, we can assume that he carries a significant amount of muscle which weighs more than fat. Therefore, his body weight would be around 200 pounds. Then we add the weight of the costume, another 50 to 70 pounds, which results in the total of about 260 pounds. Now that we have the mass, we need the acceleration of Jackson's body, which we'll get by knowing the size of the platform. In the Prometheus script, the sleeping pods are described as 20 foot long, and by looking at the set photos, it's clear that another sleeping pod would fit in the center between the two. So the platform is about 60 foot in diameter, or 18 meters. Then we estimate that Wayland's bodyguard traveled the distance of about 10 meters on the platform and a few additional meters between the platform and the wall. By measuring the time it took him to reach the wall, his speed comes to about 14 meters per second. However, we need the acceleration, so by dividing 14 by the time he reached that speed after the punch, we have that the acceleration equals 56 meters per second squared. By applying the formula force is mass times acceleration, we get that the force used to throw the guard across the room was 14,560 pounds, which is quite a lot to say the least. Mike Tyson has one of the hardest punches in the world, which is 1,440 pounds, 10 times weaker than the engineer's punch. If we do similar calculations with Ford, we get that the engineer's punch was 11,450 pounds of force, which is very high. The engineer is probably way stronger than we calculated because he didn't use his force to the full extent. Despite the fact that he hardly put any effort in his punches, he hit at least 10 times harder than one of the strongest human punchers. 
So that makes us wonder what are the engineers made of so that they can generate such extreme amount of power. In the script, the awakened engineer is described as 13 feet, just like the space jockey, but on the screen he seems to be about 8 feet. His strength would be more realistic if he was 13 feet, however, in both cases, he is extremely strong for his size, considering the fact that humans share most of the engineer's genetic material. However, it's possible that his bias suit came into play and significantly increased his strength. That's all for this video guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed my analysis of the engineer's punching power. Let me know in the comments how come engineers possess such incredible strength. Also, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more alien content. My name is Croft and I'll see you in the next video.